This silver ring gets rid of the APS-C crop of this Canon R7. So now rather than shooting this lens, this is a 50mm f1.2, rather than shooting it at 80mm equivalent on this crop sensor camera, I now shoot it at roughly a 15% crop factor, which is a lot more reasonable. So this 50 becomes, I don't know, we'll call it a 58. And that sounds pretty nice. Let's, start, let's go to a wedding day. We'll, we'll talk more about it. Now, unfortunately, with all good things, it does come with a bit of a price. Not necessarily the price tag, but there are some potential negatives to look out for when it comes to this, so we'll get to them later in the video. So one of the reasons that I want a full frame lens and a full frame camera is because to use the full lens, I feel like, especially with a lens like this 51.2, the older one, the L that I absolutely love, you get to experience the full, the full lens. You don't just get kind of cropped in. And that is specifically important, I think, on this lens uh, because of the flare characteristics that I actually really, really love. And when you are only getting kind of the center of the lens, it is not really giving you that full effect. And now that you're using more of the lens, you get more of the, the lens goodness, or I guess potential negatives too, because technically uh, there's, there's flaws if you do use the corners of this lens, but I don't know, I like it. And I've been using this EF lens quite a lot actually, and I haven't had this problem. So up till now, everything's been fine. Obviously you get the, the red fringing and whatnot, but I haven't had a problem like this. And I'm not sure what this problem is. Is, is it the additional glass elements that is that are in this adapter? Or is it just a combination of all things? It does not happen. It happens in, I would say, maybe 3% of your images, but when it does, it is very, very noticeable. So what is a crop sensor? You might ask, you you know. On a Canon camera, the crop factor is 1.6, which means any lens that you put on here is multiplied by 1.6. And that means that this 50 millimeter lens becomes something like an 80 millimeter lens, or at least gives you that field of view. And because you do get that cropped in field of view, if you are shooting an F 1.2 lens, it doesn't really look like an F 1.2 lens on a full frame camera if you are comparing them kind of one to one. So some will say that you also kind of multiply the F stop by the crop factor as well. So rather than an F 1.2 lens, you actually get something like an F 1.9 lens. Uh, bonus with, with this guy, it hasn't yet been updated, I don't think, for the, for the R7, but you also should get an additional stop of light. So when I put this lens with this adapter, on this Canon R6 right here. I can actually go down to F1.0. But unfortunately, as you can see, the vignette here in all of the corners is extremely heavy. So it is uh, kind of unusable. It makes the lens too wide. And also, if you are a member, you have access to this full wedding day and you can go check that out if you want. And it is in fact all on the Canon R7. And when you do go into a wedding day with a 50 millimeter lens, I feel like you can do an entire wedding day on a 50 millimeter lens. In fact, I made a video about it. You could also get most of a day done with an 85 millimeter lens, but there are some situations you'll put yourself in that you just can't really use an 85. Say for instance, the behind the scenes wedding day that if you remember, you have access to right now. I, in this church, I definitely need a 70 to 200. I feel like I, I could maybe use an 85. I could probably get by, but a 70 to 200 is definitely a better tool for the job. And that's kind of what wedding photography is all about using the best tool for the job. And to have a 50 plus a little bit, like 55, 58, 60, all interesting lenses for a wedding day. It gives you that separation. It doesn't quite make it an 85 millimeter lens. So when you are inside in a getting ready environment, you can actually get the shots that you need. You get backed into a wall. Maybe you're still gonna have to switch to maybe a 35 or maybe this 16 that we're recording on here. Punching in here quickly. Important thing I forgot to mention, and it's not an advertisement, uh, is to verify that the glass, the EF glass that you have, actually functions with this adapter or is supported. I don't, I haven't tested with, I have no Tamron glass, no Tamron EF glass that I can test this with, but if you are using an off-brand lens or maybe one of the lenses that is not on the list of the Viltrox adapter, it potentially might not work or it might not work exactly, uh, similar to maybe how my 50 is working now because the Canon R7 is not really on the supported list yet. I'm sure firmware uh, updates coming, but as of right now, uh, I should be able to shoot at f1.0 but I actually can't. I can only shoot at f1.2, which is fine. But just something to keep in mind if you are interested in buying this adapter. Uh, shout out to Mark Shirley for telling me about this. I, I'd seen it a few times and I was like, ah, I don't know if I need it. And then mentioned it on one of the Canon R7 videos and I thought that it was time. So uh, shout out to you for suggesting this. And if you are interested, the full behind the scenes wedding day is up on the members website right now. So everything you just saw, you can go and you can watch the full wedding day.
that's all from here the car but to go into the guys getting ready so i don't even know all the footage you just saw that was all footage that i hadn't experienced yet but you have i'm sorry i'm crying hope it was a nice day a little bit nervous all of the photos we're doing in the daytime and there is not a single cloud in the sky right now so a bit of a bummer but i don't know i'm sure it was fine i'm sure we figured it out welcome to the exclusive full wedding day video for members thank you for being here and if you have not yet joined the members facebook group please go do that you're invited if you're a member here and uh yeah we're uh, as you can see gonna be dealing with some pretty harsh light today there's not a single cloud in the sky and all of our photos are gonna be happening in the, the light that you're seeing right now so let's go let's go do that 